Hey crafters, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I created a very pretty Christmas card using some new products from the newer release. One of them is the Lovely Layers Winter Birds. So here is that die set and you get two birds in this. I'm also using the Lovely Layers Winter Greenery the Let Nature Sing Stamp and Coordinating Die. You guys know that these coordinating sentiment dies are fantastic. And then I'm using the 3D embossing folder Kaleidoscope. And this is gonna give us some fun texture to the background. So let's start with that. I have die cut a circle using the Sweet Stacks Circles. I die cut this from Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. I'm using some salvaged patina for the center that I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending on. This is also a new like watercolor matte from Honeybee Stamps. And so I'm using that and my paper is just sticking right to it. It's really, really nice. It's not sliding around. I'm also using peacock feathers around the edges here. I want a really nice teal background having the win the cardinal winter bird is going to be red so that's going to pop off of this background let's do a little bit of, of some splatter using the distress oxide spray and peacock feathers then i'm using the distress spray stain picket fence and this is the bee shimmery watercolor and it is so so gorgeous i will kind of wiggle this around here in a little bit and you guys will see how it sparkles and shines it's absolutely gorgeous here is the picket fence this is the distress spray stain and picket fence and i'm just going to spritz tap all of that all over the background and then we have a fun distress background here is the cardinal from the winter birds now between these layers i want to add foam tape because i want this bird to have a ton of dimension you don't have to do it this way you could just add the layers and you would be fine but i like i said i really wanted a lot of dimension because it's fabulous so i'm adding the three layers there's three layers to the birds then there is a black layer that is going to be part of his face if you look at a cardinal they've got black on their face then they have a red beak so i'm going to put that there and then they have a little white eye and then there are two little feet and i'm just doing those in red so i'm going to adhere that down with some liquid glue and my reverse tweezers that makes it super simple to put this in place layering these birds you guys are is so simple and i love simple and easy things like that but look at this dimension i'm sure you guys can see it a little bit with that foam tape but i'll show you more in a second but it is so wonderful i'm going to add that little white eye now his little face is is so so cute and then we've got his little feet that i'm just going to add on there obviously you could do a different color but when i was looking at pictures of cardinals they look like they were red so that's what that's what i went with and i'm going to pick this up and show you from the side what this what this dimension looks like isn't that fantastic? I did that because I want to put some branches underneath his feet, and I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. Here's that 3D embossing folder, the Kaleidoscope, and look at how great that texture is. These 3D embossing folders are amazing, and then look at that sparkle and shine from the Bee Shimmery. I absolutely love it. Okay, I did all my die cutting ahead of time of the Lovely Layers Winter Greenery. I did two colors of green. Then you have a brown for some of the twigs that the bird's gonna be sitting on. And then we have some red berries. So I am just, I laid everything out ahead of time. I like to do that so I can see exactly what it's gonna look like. And um, instead of just gluing it down right away because I always end up changing it around. I die cut two of these little twigs here and I want to adhere them together to make one larger twig. So that's what I'm doing here with a little bit of liquid glue. And because our bird has dimension, I can easily tuck this branch underneath his feet. So his tail feathers go behind the branch and then his little feet are in front of it. I just love that 3D look. So that's what I did with that and I'm gonna let that dry. I want to put him in place and kind of see where he needs to be. I don't want to cover up this whole uh, turquoise and textured background. So I'm going to offset the cardinal just a little bit so we can still get a lot of that background. 
Now I want to adhere the berries. I'm just adding some liquid glue. I'm just using a crystal katana to pick that up and put them in place. I die cut the berries twice so I could have a ton of them. I really liked the pops of red and having the berries on the one side and the bird on the other kind of evened it out visually in the design. Now I die cut a larger circle from the Sweet Stacks circles. It's just one larger from Gold Mirror cardstock to give it a nice little frame. And then I'm using some patterned paper from the freebie. Like when the release came out, you could get a little freebie of the pack of this uh, A2 size patterned paper. I'm gonna use that for the background. I also decided to splatter more of the uh, picket fence and peacock feathers no excuse me I just did the picket fence and the bee shimmery on the background include with the bird and all of the greenery I just wanted to bring that forward and I'm so glad I did because it turned out so super pretty but obviously if you don't want that you could just leave that part out and it would still look absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to finish splattering that and then I want to stamp the sentiment from the let nature sing and it says let heaven and nature sing. I'm stamping that in black ink on white cardstock and then of course I'm going to use the coordinating die to die cut that out because you know honeybee stamps has these and they're so fabulous. I think it just makes having sentiments so much easier. I'm going to tape that in place with some low tech tape and then run that through the die cut machine. Then I wanna add some foam tape behind this circle. There's that piece of patterned paper that I was talking about. It has some like grayish leaves and then it has these gold snowflakes, which I really, really loved. I loved that gold. So that's why I decided to add the gold frame around that center circle. I'm just gonna pop that into the center. I will add some foam tape behind my sentiment, of course, and then we can place that at the top of the circle in the center. But I just think this card turned out so lovely. I really love that red against that turquoise. I know I said that before, but I think it's so striking and so pretty. So let's put that in place. And then we can take a look at this card up close. Look at how pretty this is. I love all of the splatter effect. And of course those dyes are just amazing. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you feel inspired by this card and I hope that you have a really wonderful day. Bye.